What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? I hope you all are doing great. So today's video is going to be another video from my Durga Puja series and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to create this very simple and easy makeup look with sari. and by simple and easy I literally mean it because it's very simple to do. So if you guys want to know how I have created this look then let's quickly begin with the tutorial. So at first I'm going to start with a sunscreen if you are doing this makeup during the night then make sure that you use a good moisturizer. After this I'm going to move on to my primer. Then I'm going to use an orange corrector and apply it on areas where I have a little bit of pigmentation to avoid ashiness. And today for foundation I went in with the Nykaa Skin Genius foundation and I will be applying this all over my face and also on my neck so that my face and my neck matches and I'm going to blend it out using a brush once that is blended next I'm going to move on to my concealer and I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me concealer and by the way guys all the shade names and everything will be written down in the description box next I'm going to bake my face today I'm not going for a very heavy baking but a very little bit so I'm just going to apply some powder under my eyes and I'm going to let that powder be there by this time I'm going to do my brows using my Miss Claire eyebrow pencil I'm just filling in my eyebrows using small strokes so once that is done next I'm going to move on to my contour palette and I'm going to pick up that bronzy color and put that into my crease. So basically I'm starting with my eye makeup over here. If you want you can use any of your brown eyeshadows as well. So I'm going to take a brush and slowly blend it out and you know I'm slowly slowly adding the color and at the same time I'm making sure that it looks well blended. So now I'm just going in with a bigger fluffier brush and making sure that everything looks well blended. Once that is done I'm going to take this black eye shadow from Wet n Wild and I'm going to use a sponge tip applicator. So you guys always ask what to do with the sponge tip applicators. So I generally use them. Uh, for applying an all over shade or a shade you know which is very pigmented and which might give you a little bit of fallout so I try to use the sponge tip applicator in such cases next I'm going to use a fluffy brush again and make sure that the brown and the black is very well blended so here you're going to take all your time and make sure that the black is very well blended make sure that you're not skipping this step at all Next taking a big fluffy brush I'm just going to dust off all the powders. Once that is done for my waterline I'm going to use a kajal and I'm going to take that and apply it in my waterline. I'm also going to tight line my eyes using that. So once that is done I'm going to take a little bit of the black eye shadow and apply it over the kajal so that the kajal sits there really well. Next using a eyelash curler I'm going to curl my lashes followed by applying mascara and I'm just going in for a coat of mascara if you guys want you can use a pair of falsies but I skipped it for this look again going back to my bronzer I'm going to slightly bronze up my face and once I'm done with bronzing up my face I'm going to use the blush from the same palette to slightly apply it on my cheeks next I'm going to use this highlighter on all high points of my face and I'm also going to use a little bit of this highlighter in my inner corners. Lastly for my lips I'm going in with this nude lipstick from the brand Stay Quirky. This is a pretty matte shade and I really like it. So that completes my makeup guys. I just paired this look with a few oxidized jewelries and a sari of course. So this is how it turned out. You can also try this makeup during the night time. It totally depends on you. So I hope you guys have liked watching this video. Do not forget to check out my other videos from my Durga Pujo series. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And yes guys if you have liked this video then don't forget to give it a like. Do write in the comments what are your plans for Pooja. Happy Pujo to everyone. Stay blessed and have a lot of fun with your family. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.